G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo IdeaPad Y700 17 ISK. Also model number 80Q0. The reason why I'm opening this up is to give it a hard drive upgrade. I'm already seeing signs of dust, I believe, down here. So this is probably not gonna be a pleasant opening. Gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. And that will get us started. I'll let you know if any of these screws are different along the way. And we already have a different one. Long screw here. Assumably a long screw here too. Yep. Small screw. These ones are so far of the same length. There. And two more up here. I'm not sure if these are required, but I'm here. Take them out, and we'll see what we get. Put that to the side. And that's going to be the best way to open this. Start with a metal pry tool just to get a bit of a gap. Now we'll grab a plastic pry tool and go across. Starting to lift. Oop, I forgot one more screw. There we go. And we are now in. Now looking at it here, we have one battery here, which is very tiny in size. Over here, I'll disconnect it up here. There we go. Hmm, what, a, what else have we got? Where have we got? So with the battery disconnected, have a look over here at the RAM. Try and zoom you guys in. We have a one terabyte hard drive, or I'm assuming what is a one terabyte drive over here. Pop this out. We have 8 gig of DDR4 2133. To reinstall the RAM in there, we have a notch taken out of here and a notch taken out there. Put it in at about a 45 degree angle and then pull down. So push it in so that notch lines up, pins disappear, like so, and then push down. Should click into position here and here. Now the reason why I was opening this one up was to install an NVMe. So being that with DDR4, I'm going to assume that we can support NVMEs. So I'm just going to go off a relatively budget NVMe, the MP33 by Team Group. These seem to function perfectly fine. And I'm going to put it in here, find a screw to go in here, and then clone it over. Well, actually, probably do a fresh install directly on here, and then leave that as extra storage. So similar to the RAM, the installation of the NVMe drive, very similar. We have a notch down near my finger here. That's going to correspond to the notch over here. That pushes into there, folds down. And then next up we need to find a screw to go in here to hold it. So I need to put a screw in here to hold it. This one here looks like it should do the job. That's installed, they're not going anywhere. So the NVMe drive installed, I've Basically done what I wanted to accomplish in here. You could potentially upgrade the RAM, could possibly upgrade the Wi-Fi card, possibly replace the battery, which the freakish design that this current one has. You can also replace the charging port if you need. It goes here, snakes out over here. But I'm just gonna reconnect the battery, put it back together, and install potentially Windows 10, Windows 11, depending on what's supported. It supports Windows 11, 
If it's an 8th gen or newer, I'll put that in there. Or install Windows 11. If it doesn't support Windows 11, I'll just put Windows 10. Next up, it looks like this back cover needs to hook over the back. The bottom cover needs to hook over the back. So you should be able to throw it on. Pull it down. Click, 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 click. A whole bunch of click and crunching. And then next up from here, what we should have to do is put the two larger screws here, 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 and here. And the smaller screws should be able to go everywhere else. And with that installed, I'll be able to reinstall the OS. It should be right to go from there. Anyway, I hope this helps with your Lenovo IdeaPad Y700. And there is a phone going. Bye. Not my phone, so I'm not going to answer it. There we go, now we're going. So yeah, big screws there, small screws everywhere else. I'll see you guys later. Bye.